You know, I remember a moose hunt in Alberta last year. My guide's name was Stan, a carpenter by trade from near Edmonton. We were hunting the bog fringes of Andrew Lake in the far northeastern corner of the province. Lake hunting for moose is different because you can use a small boat to get around as long as the lake doesn't freeze over. I think it's funny how some areas of the lake get ice covered and some don't. The fog in this part of Alberta can burn off quick, but return in a mist that feels like it can turn to snow. You know, September in the North Country, summer can turn to winter in just a few hours. Moose in the rut are known to be almost stupid and throw caution to the wind to approach the mimic sounds of a cow. When we're calling moose, we like to use a a bull call because when a bull comes in you can hear him from a long distance off and he kind of makes a call something like this and that comes from deep down inside and it really echoes a, a through the mist especially in the mornings um, when we're sitting quietly and uh, the rut is in swing we like to use a cow call and we can use a cow call with a, with a, with the same horn I just used or uh, we can use a can. A can works really good and we just pull a string through our finger and it makes the sound of a cow moose um, out in the water or by the bush or wherever it may be. And uh, that attracts uh, mature bulls and they like to come in and uh, see if they can pick up a new mate. This bull and cow moose are across the bay and way out of bow range. But they listen to Stan's forlorn call. I think it's hard to believe that a can and a string can actually call in a moose, but it does work. I remember the moose walking off and thinking that I'd never get archery close. But with an incredible sunset, I think it's an omen that my luck is about to change. The next day brought change all right, in the form of a full-blown snowstorm. Look at this frozen. Storm is hitting everywhere. You know that's fresh or there'd be a mink or otter all over it. The snow in the woods is nearly a foot deep and Stan's strategy is to call the lake edge and then to walk inland and hope to cut a fresh track. We decided to work the same area where we saw the moose yesterday because we figured they must not have went far.
I didn't have a shot. Too much brush. Was that exciting? Incredible.